Skype can be installed on Windows, Mac and Linux operating system. It can be installed on devices such as computers, mobiles, tablets, television and others. To begin installation, go on to www.skype.com. Click on Get Skype. Let us choose Skype for computer. Click on Get Skype for Windows Desktop. The setup begins to load in the .exe format. Double click on this .exe file. This dialog box given below is displayed on clicking on the setup file. Click on I agree next. Uncheck this option and click on continue. Uncheck the bling and MSN homepage option and click on continue. When you are done with selecting the last dialog box, the installation begins. This might take a while. Once the installation is done, this dialog box appears. You can click on create an account for signing up or Skype name to sign in to Skype. Let us begin with creating an account for Skype. Click on create an account. To create an account, certain details need to be filled in, such as your name, email address, personal information, such as birth date, gender, and so on. Let us fill in the necessary details. You may or may not add in your personal information. Add in your company information, Skype name and a suitable password. Skype offers you with various Skype names which you can choose from. Also add in the number given in this image which is called special characters. Once this is done, Click on I agree continue. The Skype dialog box opens. Let us use the newly created account to sign in to Skype. To sign in to Skype, click on Skype name in the dialog box. Here you need to add in your details. Once you have filled in the details in the given slots, click on sign in. Once the sign in has taken place, the Skype interface dialog box is displayed. Let us go through the various menu options available in the interface. The first tab here is Skype. When you click on this, we see various options such as online status, profile, account settings. You also have an option of changing your already created password and also sign out from your Skype account. The next one being contacts. Here in the drop down menu, we can see the options like adding contacts, importing contacts, creating groups and others. The next option is conversation. Under conversation, we can see various options like send which leads to instant messenger, files, etc. Saving groups to contacts, adding files, adding people and so on. The options which you can see here in grey color get activated when an audio or video chat is in progress. Next option is call. The drop down menu shows various options like video call, answer and so on. 
Most of the options get activated when a video or voice call is in progress. Next is view. The options available here in view are contacts, recent, voice messages and so on. Tools. In tools, we can change the language. We also have Skype Wi-Fi and other options available. Next is help. This is the last option available. This contains support options, privacy policies and about Skype is given here. You can explore each in detail.